Hello everybody, in this tutorial I will show you how to crochet fourth cluster stitch in the round. I already have a tutorial on how to do fourth cluster stitch in the rows. I will put the link in the description. This one will be in the round. It's a little bit different. And additionally, this one is done with this cute braided ridge, which is achieved by crocheting in a third loop of this four cluster stitch. It is done very similarly to crocheting in third loop of half double crochet. I will show you in details in this video. For this tutorial, I will be working with um, worsted weight yarn in two colors. Uh, this is impeccable by loops and threads, it's medium weight yarn. And I will use five and a half millimeter hook. I already changed the yarn color. This is the base of just half double crochet stitches. This stitch can be done on any number of stitches uh, for, for the cluster. I changed the yarn and now I'm going to chain two and I will be carrying this other yarn up instead of cutting it. So I will put it right here. Now I will chain with my working yarn. Now I will need to chain one more time, so I will put this yarn back here, out of the way. So now we have starting chain two, and this other yarn is encased here in chains. So it will be on the right level when we do the next round. The cluster is worked over two stitches. So what will be our first stitch, right where we chain from, and the next stitch. You yarn over, insert your hook in this first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. We have three loops now yarn over again and insert insert your hook in next stitch pull up loop and we have five loops on hook yarn over pull through only three of them now we have three again yarn over and pull through remaining three loops this is our first cluster. The next one we yarn over and insert hook in this stitch where previous cluster ended. Insert your hook in this stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops, yarn over, insert your hook in next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, five loops on hook, yarn over, pull through three loops and yarn over, pull through remaining three loops. These are our first two clusters. Let's make one more together. Here I'm at the end of the round. Uh, I already put the cluster in the last stitch, but I'm still not done. The last cluster actually goes, work is worked over this stitch where previous cluster ended, and 
this first cluster that we started around with. So we yarn over, insert our hook in this last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops, yarn over, and now insert a stitch in this, or insert your hook, sorry, in this stitch where the first cluster started, right here. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Here are our five loops. Pull the three loops, yarn over and pull through three loops again. Now we finished our round. These are forked clusters in the round. Next round we will start with a different color. So when we slip stitch to join, we will join in the top of the first cluster. This chain two won't be counted as a stitch. So we slip stitch in the top of our first cluster, but with a different yarn. So we'll put our pink yarn here, get yarn over with blue. Oops, lost it. And we're ready to start working with this new yarn. Uh, for the next round with chain one, it will be half double crochet. Let's put this okay, chain one. And to work in a third loop of the fourth cluster, third loop is just like a uh, third loop of uh, half double crochet, third loop of four cluster is located right here, it looks, the top of the stitch looks exactly like half double crochet, because we pulled our yarn through three loops at the same time. Here it is, this is this third loop, it is a horizontal strand of yarn. There it is. There it is. Located right below this top two strands. It looks like V. So right below this top V there is a strand, the one that is horizontal. This is the one. If you were to work from to work in that third loop on the right side, this is the right side, right? Right side. At least for this for cluster. This is the right side. The front of the stitch. When you work in the stitch, the front that's looking at your right side of the stitch, right? If you were to work from the right side you would be crocheting, you would be turning your work, turning this piece a little bit down to get to this strand, to easier see it. So it is located away from you on the back. We will be working from the wrong side. Of this simple we will be and for us this horizontal strand will be facing us there it is it's much easier to find it when you work from the wrong side there they are we chained one already now we will half double crochet 
in this third loop. There's a one, two, three. This is the third one. Yarn over, insert your hook. This one's a tricky because we have this chains here. Have to insert a hook in this. Right, I might have tightened it a little bit too much. So half double crochet in this. And this one on this strand. So your hook under this th strand of yarn, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops, and yarn over, pull all three loops. So we have double crochet right here. This is the top of the stitch. And this is the third loop. Make sure you're working in this strand that is horizontal, almost horizontal. There are more strands here. This one is definitely not horizontal. Do not work in it. So insert your hook under this strand and continue working to the end. This is what we're getting on our right side. We're getting this braided ridge, similar to the one when you work in a third loop of half double crochet. Just for cluster gives us different look, but this braided ridge is the same. Here we're at the end of the round and let's slip stitch to join in top of the first half double crochet. And let's see what we have on the right side. Here we have fork cluster, it gives you interesting texture and we added more texture by crocheting the next round of half double crochet in the third loop of fork cluster. We got this cute braided ridge. Thank you for watching.